Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So this we did, this was a Patreon exclusive. Again, certain things that you just really can't say. At least I don't think it's good to say on YT, because you never know. They might just take your channel away. Well, we can't say certain things on YT anyway. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, interesting times. Uh, we, we did that this morning, and then we did this one. Uh, talking about the eternal war and there's so much going on right now here you see uh, you know I, I was looking specifically for three gentlemen from the Middle East uh, I saw a post where they came through across the southern border I want to say they were coming into California and they um, had body armor on they they came across with body armor on now there's literally been cases of the cartels coming across with body armor before um but but <laughs> these guys were literally wearing body armor crossing and here you have supposedly military dog ties uh dog tags found in san diego and you know somebody uh abu bakar is the name uh, that's given on the dog tags. There is a lot going on. You have, um, you know, AJ, the Alex guy, talking about UN troops being smuggled in uh, under <clears throat> the guise of immigrants into the U.S. And then you actually had also, there was an interview I saw with one uh, immigrant from Africa that was literally saying that they were coming here to get rid of the bad guys They were coming and being smuggled into the country to literally take part in a sting operation to arrest uh, People that are committing crimes against humanity here in the US um, So there's so much going on right now. It's it's just really mind mind boggling in so many ways <laughs> well you know it, it's been going on too and i think it's going to be ongoing i don't think there's going to be any quick trip wire to get all of this under control really it, we're going to have to evolve out of it it's going to take time there's layers there's so many layers to this and this is of course um the changing of the guard at least in an external view so to speak, uh, with who has been leading the planet, the U.S. and NATO. This you know happens periodically, and this is what the control system does. But then we're also at the end. Uh, we have now officially, according to what we've gotten, stepped out of the Kali Yuga. Uh, so no longer in the Kali Yuga, what does a uh, Bronze Age instead of a Dark Age look like? Well, again, the darkness is not understanding what's happening. And so we are going to understand what's happening. Doesn't mean that we're walking straight into a paradise. No, no, the, the Bronze Ages are turbulent. Uh, so, you know, you are going to have a lot of roller coaster rides in a Bronze Age. But th the difference is we understand more what's really going on. You know, and I've watched this for a very long time and he's talking about sharia law here and he's you know basically telling people look we are coming in we're having children you're not you're you're on the decline we're on the incline and whether you like it or not we're going to take over and and i just i think there is a better way <laughs> i don't think it has to be so much headbutting i i think there's a symbiotic way to do this but you really have to walk people kind of off, uh, you know, from jumping off the anger cliff. You have to walk them back because they feel so threatened. But who who has made them feel threatened? You know, the, the whole system has made them feel threatened. I mean, everyone is hurt on every side. And I'm not picking a side. I don't want anybody to say, oh, you're choosing, just choosing a side. No, I'm choosing a side of people who deserve to be free and want to be free and came here for an experience that's being hijacked by those that are in control. So that's where I'm at. I, I say, you know, place the blame where it belongs and it belongs on those that are um, on the higher scale end and they have the ability to give a so-called education to people or do things like harass people and m make people's lives really, really miserable. And this goes on down the family line. So I think we just need to put the blame where it belongs and 
get a little bit closer to our closer leadership wherever you're at you know the mayor the sheriff get close to those people because that's where our power is it's right there yeah absolutely uh the last thing anybody wants is sharia law at least anybody that's out there for freedom of thought <laughs> you know replace one and 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 this is why our our channel uh, is not about growth because we're, we're not going to pander to any one group. We're not going to go kiss butt to any one group and say that it's the right way, either it's got the right dogma because no dogma is right. No dogma is right. And if you don't get that, then you're still asleep. And that's okay. You know, it, it, hopefully people will wake up in time. People are awakening up when you get down to it. The the power structure doesn't have any r religion, none. No, they're not really even worshiping Satan, so to speak. You know, Satan being the adversary, they're just in service to themselves. That's it. it it's all about you know. It, it, we were covering this on uh, the Heart's Home video. The, there are three basic tenets: is uh, you know, sensual satisfaction. You know, uh, through you know, abundance of whatever it is that they're out there to get, uh, inflating the ego, you know, and having this feeling of superiority better than, and, and think about this, again, this is how they pander to people in each country by, you know, saying, well, aren't you a patriot? Do you understand what that means? Then you're, if you're patriotic, you're viewing that something is superior about where you are, that in comparison to you know others it's an ego pander and and people are still just so wrapped up in ego that they can't see when when their egos are being stroked in a purposeful manner so they're being manipulated it it really is horrible and from the very 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 start of this plague upon the land my concern has been you know why are they getting people used to putting things over their face putting things over their their mouth and and you know they're like mike said it's the dogma we are against the dogma anyone who's going to threaten Any anyone dogma. else about if you don't believe the way i do you you're going to burn in hell forever we're just we don't believe in that and and that's what we are trying to get across to people is that we can see another way I, and some people are just so entrenched in the mud and the mire. They just, they can't see anything different. They are very, very angry. Whatever dogma they're stuck in, they're just stuck. And I know that there is a way through this, but we're going to have to work together. You know, the, the thing is, too, there are a lot of people out there, especially in, in this period of time, that can sense see hear and even communicate to people that have already passed on there's many psychics many mediums Th these are normal abilities that humans have every age but the dark age so what we know is that the dogma that you see given uh, that there's only one way and you're going to spend eternity in hell is is not accurate uh, in fact, waiting to be resurrected into a body doesn't necessarily happen that way either. You know, we, reincarnation is pretty much the norm. Transmigration, literally, of the soul, because you don't even have to reincarnate as humans. And you don't have to reincarnate if you don't want to either, is what we have seen and, and experienced directly. So we know these religions are basically created only for the express purpose of manipulating humans. So any any of the dogma is of the dark control system. And here you have, you know, again, one of the more prev prevalent dogmas, the number two dogma on the planet at this point in time, threatening others. And this is what dogma does. It's just a tool. That's all it is. It's a really, really useful tool. And you have two, quote-unquote, migrants tried to break into a Marine Corps base in Virginia. One was Jordanian, the other was on the terror watch list. The other thing that they've done is divide us into useful uh, entities called countries to keep us 
segregated and fighting each other. It's when humanity rises up and recognizes, you know, <laughs> that you are a part of something bigger. You're part of this planet and stop fighting each other. Then they will have no power structure. As you see Ireland on a knife edge, uh, an assassination attempt again. Anybody that seems to speak up against, um, you know, the power structure and, and the migrant immigrant situation is a huge part of this big play. It's, it's a big part of the play. And they've always done this too. When you, when you trace haplogroups, haplogroups are uh, genetic family groups per se that are closely related with each other. You'll see there's been nothing but mass migrations on the planet. We are such a jumbled mess, but it's, it's okay because we got to start just simply viewing ourselves as living cells on the planet instead of any sort of ethnicity and um, any sort of nationality. Nationality and that whole concept, again, we wouldn't have their plan going ahead if they didn't re-resurrect uh, Israel and if they didn't re-resurrect uh, a, a Ukrainian country at this point in time and you know ukraine it wasn't until the breakup of the soviet union that that came into existence as this so it wasn't too long ago you know within a generation and then israel 1948 being reborn after the destruction of the temple in 70 a.d the second temple and the new diaspora it serves their purpose. They even say that in the Tower of Babel in, in Genesis. You know, look, humans are united. We can't have this. Let's go and divide them, keep them divided and fighting so that we could keep them under control. And as we shared in that other, this one, this is exactly what the uh, Hindu holy books say. The Asuras, who are the demons in Hinduism, they have four ways in which they manipulate humanity and you know and it's bigger than humanity because it's uh this is actually a galactic battle of a huge scale but it's divide and conquer that is how they do it divide and conquer fear of punishment it's everything in the abrahamic religions that you know is 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 utilized again to keep humans divided so it's just so obvious, but assassination attempt on Irish Republican European MEP candidate Malachi Steenson. Man is in custody and Ireland is on a knife edge. This is the man that was arrested. Uh, his name is Jamie Moonen. Moonen appears that he has a history of threatening, quote unquote, Irish patriots with, with violence. And this is how, again, it, the division is. So, you know, it, it's not that we're saying we're anti-patriotic. We're anti-using, uh, inf inflaming the fires of ego to manipulate people against each other, which is what they do. And they know they're going to create all sorts of tension and they're going to set the world on fire with shifting whole populations with those people having hopes of something better because they're usually leaving countries that were traumatized by the countries they're going to. So what do you think they're going to do? They're going to want to take it out on the countries they're going to. And this is what they're doing. It's just so blatantly obvious anybody with a three-digit IQ could figure it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's something that... We have to figure out a way to push back without feeding the system, without giving them what they want. And there's really, there's several ways to do it. There's many ways to do it. And I, I think as people get fed up with this, they'll start to figure out, okay, I need to stop feeding the system. I need to stop, you know, I need to stop feeding all the pillars that keep their income not just on a 3D level, but then feeding the gin too. And anger is is a huge one. If we can be um, of the mind where we can look at a situation and respond to it in an appropriate way where it's not going to use anger or any other leverage to feed the power structure, we can become 
responsible in the sense of taking back our power. I think it's the reactive nature of humans is what they really like to prey on. And it's such a hard, hard thing because when you have trauma from a very small age, people are just reactive. That's all they know. <clears throat> and what can overcome that is a bit of compassion, a bit of understanding. Injecting that into the world when you go out to the store, hold the door for someone, you know, offer to help, help that elderly couple with their groceries. Do these random acts of kindness because really it does cause problems for the power structure. They need us to be angry and kicking each other and rude and mean and nasty and have our egos, you know, one up the other person. I see that all the time, you know, people wanting to jump on someone else because they think they know something and then that they need to teach that person. But what if we were to open our hearts to one another and, and be compassionate and start making something of a quicksand type of energy where if they jump in with their anger and their resentment and they're trying to get people reactive, they just sink. They just sink into the sand. That's what I see that we are capable of. Yeah, absolutely. That is something they can't tolerate. They can't tolerate uh, the energy of love. And, and that's true. It's something that just doesn't resonate with them and, and would be repulsive. Think about how the system always prioritizes ego, 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 ego. And, you know, here we got to recognize, again, so many of these people have been traumatized, the ones that are leaving uh, countries. You know, yes, there, there, is a, there is some within that are just pure criminals, as there is in any culture. And usually those are people that have been traumatized anyway. Again, you know, it, it's, it's that never-ending cycle of trauma that feeds itself. And here they are now. They're trying to make it, as you see, the EU wants to criminalize migration speech because they, they can't have us awakening. They can't have us understanding what they are doing. The problem on the planet has always been the control structure. Every one of the control structures, because it's all the same thing. You know, here, this was a year ago, this was ongoing, and it looked like it was going to go up in flames. And then now at this point, it's uh, absolutely going up in flames. But, you know, if you look in the back, no no NATO, right? And, and somebody gets it that... It's actually, you know, the movements by the, the NATO side that has, and by the U.S., which, again, nothing but a tool of the power structure, just like the Roman Empire was before, and the British Empire, and it goes on down throughout time. It's nothing but a tool. They're, they're nothing but tools to be used and then discarded, use the hatred that has been uh, fomented against NATO and the U.S., by those that have been, um, you know, punished by NATO and the U.S., seeing their family members uh, die and, and seeing their homes get blown up so that, you know, you shift them, you send them all over into the NATO countries, and the fuse is lit. And here you have Western governments need war because their debts are no longer sustainable which is a part of a bigger plan. This has been done totally on, on, on cue, as you have the Dow at 40,000, but how many people really hold uh, you know, much of the wealth of those uh, institutions like the Dow? N not many when you get down to it, not a big portion. It's the elite when you get down to it. And France declares a state of emergency and a TikTok ban in New Caledonia. So here you have, again, um, people that don't want to see any colonialism. And, and, you know, the time for colonialism, well, it should never have happened, but this is what the system is. It, it's like that in, on a planetary scale. It, it's all about conquering and subjecting people, taking people that have certain ways, like the tribal people that were, you know, here in this area, and then imposing Christianity or Islam on them. Again, Abrahamic systems. Look what was done to the natives in, in both uh, Americas. A hundred million plus people were exterminated. It's probably much more than that. 
because of the system and also forced to give up their ways and to become either you know christian or or now many will be forced to perhaps become muslim but no their plans aren't going to work because we're waking up unfortunately not enough waking up quick enough and here you have there are currently 42 cloud seeding projects across the american west 200 more cloud seeders in the future federal government has committed 2.6 million to seeding this is from good morning america 2023 and yet you still have chemtrails is uh is just a chem is a conspiracy or a chemspiracy no you know this has always been ongoing again that term conspiracy is when people find out something how do we discredit it well let's just call it a conspiracy meaning like oh there's no basis in truth but this is from a system that told people full frontal lobotomies can make you happy you know ingest some some radium you know for your health uh, this is a, a system, you know, that put ticks and leeches on people. Again, this is the the system that's given us microwave ovens and given us nonstick cookware that causes cancer, that has basically got people inflated egos saying, look at your, your neighbor uses Roundup. His yard looks way better than yours. <laughs> Go ahead, get cancer. You know, this is what they... They induce us to do. This is what the system does. It's time to get rid of the system. The system is the only problem out there. And then you got the Vatican announced that it's set to hold a press conference on supernatural phenomena tomorrow. It's going to touch on aliens and how it's going to deal with potential encounters in the future. Because they've been told by their bosses who are aliens to, you know, get ready. We're going to plan Z. <clears throat> That's right. They got to kind of start to prepare people like they, they have very slowly but surely, you know, getting it out there that other people that see demons somehow they just, it, you know, it's a it's a weird disease that they have. Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. It's just, it's a disease and we need to medicate it. Yeah, that's right. That's going to get them, get them believing us again. It's, um, it's just really silly. It's something that we have to tolerate and walk through and you know things will get better as we follow our hearts and we want it to um things will change for the better yeah yeah absolutely you know it, it's only a matter of time and again you know the extraterrestrials that are in charge they don't want you knowing there's extraterrestrials. You know, this is why, you know, they had us thinking that the world was flat and that we were the only ones out there. And then you get people like the flat earthers saying, how could I take you seriously? You know, when you believe in a round sphere going through, well, you know, again, just look to nature as above, so below. What shape do you see cells look like when you look under a, a telescope? You know, when you look out out into the, into the space, which is not a vacuum, it's more akin to a liquid in reality. It's more like a less dense water because life is abundant. You know, the universe was created for the exploration of consciousness in different vehicles. So consciousness created the universe for itself, and it's not going to be empty. Of course not. You know, life is abundant out there. There is tons of evidence for ETs. And just again, look to the Hindu holy books because they tell you straight out, you're in the middle of an extraterrestrial war and you're under the side, uh, under the sway of the dark ones that have temporarily gained control. And thus we have what's called the Kali Yuga. But at the same time, we are now into the Bronze Age. So what does that look like? Well, you just basically come to the realization that you're in the middle of an extraterrestrial war. <laughs> but there's one more thing that we want to touch on, something very, very positive, something that's um, is for someone who's very near and dear to our hearts. We want to talk about our friend Dave in UK. And they are going to be launching a charity. <clears throat> and he's asked if we could help him with a name they're going to be growing food that is beyond organic and they'll be supplying a food bank and a place called dover pantry um, and if they manage to obtain the land he says we can grow and become an educational 
a place to help with rehabilitation. He said the one thing that's holding them back is a name. And he wanted us to reach out to our E Arts family and ask you guys if you could please think of a name for him, give him some ideas, at least get those juices flowing. And we really can't think of any better place to ask than you guys. Um, you guys, your imaginations stretch far and wide, and I'm guessing he'll be looking in the comments. So if you think of names, leave them in the comments, and we can tell our friend Dave from UK. Hopefully, look in the comments and give give good ideas. As always, guys, thank you so much for being part of the family. Look forward to your comments, and uh, again, look forward to what you think would be a good name for Dave. He's been a brother and uh, a part of this family I think since almost day one, a long, long time. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.